it's rebecca with rain nail studio and today we are doing a pedicure so i'm gonna do a little step-by-step -step tutorial the first thing that i do is remove the polish i always convince my clients to get regular polish some of them choose gel anyway but i really like using regular polish just for the simplicity of removal so I do not like to file off gel polish for the simple fact that I do not have a dust collector for my pedicure area. And I also do not have a ventilation system in my nail suite. So safety first, okay? And I do let my clients know that I do apply the gel polish free of charge, but to remove it, I'm going to charge you. So I like to go with regular polish one to avoid a lengthy soak off two to avoid my clients from trying to soak them off at home and further damaging their toenails so i highly recommend using regular polish whether the client thinks it won't last long or not because it does if your application is you know good and your prep is good the polish will last the four to six weeks that your client will be coming to see you so just educate yourself on that and just keep practicing. But the first step that I do is that I check the foot for any calluses or skin buildup. And then I apply the cuticle softener to the cuticle area on the toenails. Once I push the cuticles back, removing majority of the dead skin that's on the nail plate, I go ahead and nip or clip the toenails. I do use nippers just because I feel like they help me get a straighter and more clean trim than a pair of nail clippers do. This particular client has a perfect toenail shape, so she doesn't need a lot of manipulation, but using the nippers really just helps me get a clean cut. Once I trim the toenails, I go ahead and file them. I do use a 100, 180 file, depending on the client's toenails. This particular day, I did use my blue files. I got these files from 4Pro because they sent them on accident, but it's a softer grit. I believe it's 120. And, you know, it just helps just get a natural shape, um, a smooth shape. And then I will go in with a buffer just to remove any excess base coat, any debris off of the nail plate. And then, of course, um, this foot, during the first soak, I couldn't really see that she needed a callus treatment until the second soak. But the first go around, I did go ahead and, you know, use my serrated file to see if there was any dead skin to remove from there. Um, but after the second soak, there was definitely some dead skin that needed to be taken off.
Here is a better example of how I do the callus treatment. So of course, I'm gonna dry the foot off completely, check to see where she needs a little extra love, and then I'm going to apply a callus remover. Now with this particular product, you want to make sure that you are only applying the remover to the calloused skin for the simple fact that it will burn you okay that's why i started wearing gloves because you know it's just too risky i'm pretty good about not getting it on my skin but if i do i immediately go wash my hands because this stuff will burn your skin so let your client know that if it starts to feel itchy let me know girl so you can rinse it off but you know safety is key when you are offering services so just keep that in mind but once i apply that i go ahead and wrap it up in a towel while i clean up the toenails and i'm just gonna do my regular degula just pushing back the cuticles trimming the toenails getting rid of any excess skin and of course filing and buffing Now to finish off the callus treatment, I always go in with the coarse side of my serrated file. If you do not have a serrated file, you can use a sanding file. So the one that I have, it does have the disposable sanding papers or stickers. And I feel like that method is just as effective as using this angel feet file. So it is a lot more affordable and convenient because you can just replace the pads. Um, and it is time for me to retire this little foot file right here. I'm so sad. But yes, using a sanding file will work just as good as this serrated file. Once I'm done with the callus treatment and cleaning up the cuticles, I go in with a sugar scrub. And this is by the brand Be Care Love. I really love this line because it comes in a four pack. 
so I can really do like an entire spa treatment if I really wanted to but the sugar scrub is just refreshing and it helps exfoliate the skin and prep for moisturizing All right, we're going to get ready to um, polish. So the first thing that I do is once I clean up any leftover dead skin, I just make sure that the foot is completely dry. I apply some cuticle oil and then, of course, go in with some lotion. I do not know how to give a proper foot massage because I was not taught so I don't really offer that with my services just because I am not familiar with that part of the service. When I was in nail, nail school, they did not teach pedicures very well and pedicures were not even on state board exams. So, you know, I do a little, I do a little warming up of the feet, making sure to rub that lotion in and give them a little something, but my massage technique is not, it ain't there, you know? And I've thought about maybe taking a course. I just don't know where to go without having to take a full massage therapy course. So I'm hoping that in the next few weeks I can find something just so that I can zhuzh up my client's pedicures a bit more. Um, but once I apply the lotion, I go ahead and cleanse the nails with Young Nail Swipe just so that I can dehydrate that nail plate and apply polish. So the polish that I use for base coat is OPI. I was using the ceviche or ceviche. I don't know what it's called, but I was using that line. But I noticed that my client's nail plates were getting the white spots more frequently. So I switched over to OPI and it seems to work a bit better in avoiding the white spots on the nail plates. Uh, once I do the base coat, I go in with the color and we did a brown color because she definitely got a little fall set on her nails. She gets gel extensions, um, but we just did like a little brown fringe with some gold and then some stones. And then after the two layers of color, I go in with a top coat and to clean up the cuticle area, I go in with cottonwood um, sorry, cottonwood sticks, just because I don't really like using the brush on people's feet to clean up the polish anymore. I just feel like this is a more sanitary way. But that's really it, y'all. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave them down below. Um, make sure that you guys subscribe because like I said in previous videos, I am trying to get my content more consistent and I'm figuring out my setup for recording like you can see today, we got water all over the floor. You know, like that's stuff I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> but anyway, follow me on Instagram at Becca B underscore. And if you are in the Oklahoma City metro area, don't be afraid to book an appointment, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here. All right, I got to go. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, my name is Rebecca and I hope to see you soon.
Bye, guys.